everybody what is going on it is dunbar snack bar with something a little bit different i figured hey let's give this a shot see what you guys think um it's ncaa basketball 09 i don't have 10 so um obviously they don't make this game anymore which is part of the reason why i didn't want to go ahead and play it i was actually going through all my games when uh i was getting ready for the live stream with tom and i'm like oh yeah i totally forgot i had this game so i had a little free time the other day i'm like you know what? i'm gonna pick it up um all right that's not good great <laughs> two second chance opportunities right there so i don't know if you guys would even want to see something like this but uh, i went ahead and i made a like a dynasty um i made coach jafar snack bar who is the brother of dunbar snack bar in the snack bar universe but anyway um i was like what what team should i be and this was of course taking place before you know even selection sunday and there's a lot of teams i was like oh sweet i could be harvard and uh the only reason why i chose harvard is so i could be like harvard the whole time so uh well maybe not the whole time but you guys know what i mean so um nice that was a good shot so i'm completely unfamiliar with the game uh, I think I've only played one total game since I got it because this was a game that I I had uh, purchased right when the blockbuster I was working at was closing. So it worked out. I mean, I ended up with a pretty pretty good game from the looks of it. I mean, this is on the 362. So as I you know sit and I play the PS4 and I go back to this, I'm like, you know, there is definitely a difference between. Uh, you know the last four years in the current gen system versus the next gen system, but this is still pretty fun um, Now one of the things about being Harvard here is as an Ivy League school I'm really not gonna have that much of a challenge. Ooh, sweet dunk So since I'm not gonna have that much of a challenge um, I thought this would be kind of cool for the first year to see how this ends up so, uh, Harvard's better than New Hampshire. See, we're just going off right here. Uh, so, I figured, you know, this would be a, a good game to be able to start things off with. So, I want to leave it up to you guys. If this is something that you would want to see periodically, I'm all about playing this game. Uh, you guys know that even though, as far as commentary goes, I've got some room to be able to improve with basketball. And I'm not necessarily a huge basketball fan myself. I love playing the games. So... This just gives me another chance to be able to, to play basketball. Oh, blocked that one. Um, now, I know the names. You guys probably, like, if you're a big Harvard basketball fan, you're like, that's not the names of the guys who were playing back in 2008, or that's not the names of the guys who are playing right now. Uh, I did go with the auto-generate names. Uh, even though in the next, you know, four years of, you know, the dynasty, everybody will have these names anyway. I think it will be huge. So... Um, got to do recruiting, all of that. So it does add an additional level of difficulty too because I've never done the type of recruiting that they have in this game. So it should be kind of interesting. So New Hampshire's pulled within two. All right, so that goes in. I'm going to be going to the line here to see if I can turn this one into a three-point play. One of the things that I've noticed, it's a lot different in this game than what I uh, do when I'm playing NBA 2K is the inside game i mean that's my bread and butter right now i'm not doing too hot when it comes to shooting overall and i get the free throw here um so a very different style of gameplay i mean i'm always trying to get it inside i'm not shooting too often of course as i shoot a long three ball right there all right nine seconds left on the shot clock I'm getting it to walsh so all right get it back up take the shot and that goes in too up by eight now so we're pulling away so yeah this will i don't know i mean these two games might complement each other like if i can do a lot better in this as far as like you know what to do down low in the post I mean, that might translate over into nba 2k as well so uh as far as strategy goes here for like my uh, you know my star player there really isn't too many people here who you know, kind of fit the mold of what I've been able to play before. So what I mean is usually it's my point guard that I go to here in you know to make those shots that I need to have made. But 
In this, my point guard really isn't that great at three-point shooting. It seems to be more my centers, my power forwards, are the people who I'm going to be going to just to get the shots down low. So again, I'm going to the line here to be able to shoot one. Let's see if I can turn this into three points. So, sweet. All right, we're up by 13 now. So we'll see what we can do now. Ooh, Waters, he's the only person on my team who excels at the three-point shot. So I figured I got to test it out, and it worked out pretty well right there. 45-31. We've got one minute to go here in the first half. Steal that one on the pass, Waters. Going to get to Tomlinson, but Burn underneath the basket. Now, Burn is my point guard. So even though he doesn't necessarily have the best moves when it comes, or the, the best three-point shooting, he does have... Uh, a good passing ability, which I think is going to help considering where everything's been. There's Ulrich with the three all alone. So there is a lot more of a slower pace to this, which does help me out being able to find the open man. Be able to get those good shots off, but we've really started to pull away. 54-33 now. New Hampshire, though, they've had some uh, good shots in this. And I've noticed, too, that as far as defense goes for me, I do have to play a little bit closer uh, to whoever I'm guarding for New Hampshire. So, Ash going around the key, giving it to Walsh. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to go too far inside with that. Being double teamed, so I get it to Upton, which is actually really weird for me to say because that reminds me of the Braves franchise. <laughs> so, not Justin Upton, but... I actually can't remember what his name is. I mean, it's, it's all generated. I don't even know who these players are. I still have to figure out exactly what position that they all play to. Because, I mean, this is me picking it up and playing it for the first time. I'm just very lucky that the controls on this are pretty similar to what we see. So the double team worked. Now, tempo. When I went ahead and I made Jafar Snack Bar here, one of the things... Wow, Ulrich. Jeez. One of the things you do whenever you create a coach is you choose what type of tempo that you want to have. Now, for my time playing NBA, I know that I heavily favor an up-tempo type of offense. And that's really translated here into the game and how I'm playing as well. Um, when you take a look at you know, my average time per possession, you know, I'm hovering around like, I think, uh, I think it ends up being like 10 seconds or something like that is really my average time, which is ridiculously fast. Actually, I want to say it's more like 12, but still, I'm not using the clock. But even though I went ahead and I chose an up-tempo offense, uh, the computer seemed to go ahead and change me over to uh, a half-court style offense, which is a lot slower pace. So on a lot of these plays, I'll see Jafar uh, go ahead and be like, we need to slow it down, but I'll still go for like a layup within a few seconds of having the ball. Double teamed again. So it seems like whoever has the ball we're going with the double team. So that allows Waters to be open down low for that three-pointer. We continue to increase this lead. 71-54 now. Though New Hampshire has started to come back. So the throw inside. Jeez, look at that. If only this exactly how it was here with Octavio Chadwell. This is pretty awesome, actually. I'm loving this. Oh, blow past him. Easy two-pointer there. All right, just a little over 10 minutes to go. New Hampshire shooting really just hasn't been there. Coast to coast for Waters. I take it back. I think Waters may be my star player, and he's coming off the bench here, too. I mean, nobody shoots better than him. He's got some speed. I just wonder where his fault is, like why he isn't a starter. But, I don't know. Like I said, we're going to be seeing more inside anyway. So even though he's the best shooter I've got on the team, it's just how much am I really going to use him? Oh, I make it too. Uh, it counted as a two-pointer. I was hoping it was going to be a, a three-pointer there. So this could be the third time today that I've been fouled after or uh, while I'm shooting and I make the basket too. So uh, free throw shooting in this is very different as well and in a very good way too because, oh, wide open. 
there's a little meter that you'll see above the basket. Actually, above the backboard. I'll just let you know when you have to go ahead and uh, release the B button. It goes in. So it's kind of more in line with what I grew up with rather than with NBA 2K, which is like pull back on the stick and release whenever you're good. But that's going to help out a lot. All right, so 25 points now. 88 to 63. We've got less than six minutes and 30 seconds to go here in the game. Getting it inside to Chen. 90 points now for us, and we're still not done. See, this is where he tells me to slow it down, but why would I slow it down when Waters can go up and get that dunk? So I think if I go ahead and, you know, just raise the tempo up all the way, because you can have, like, three. You can be balanced, um, you know, basically have a low tempo or a high tempo type game. I think if I go ahead and I raise that up, that'll give me a little bit of an advantage. Because uh, my understanding, too, is with some of these ones, like whenever the tempo of the game is in line with what you want, then, wow, we've got some good moves. But, yeah, like when the, the game's tempo matches what your ideal is, it gives you a little bit of a bonus here. So, jeez, Metcalf gets the three. I guess he's not, I guess Waters isn't the only one who can uh, shoot some threes on the team. Another time we go ahead and leave them open. So 70 points here for New Hampshire, 96 for Harvard. Ooh, there we go. So obviously we've got this one in the bag here with less than a minute to go. Get it to Hensley. Over to Hart. There's Chen in the paint. 100 to 70. Now since I'm playing with full time, I don't know if this is necessarily as long as I want to be playing here, but the last few seconds, New Hampshire, well, shot's going to get blocked. So a big win for Harvard in this one. Let me know if this is something that you'd want to see. If not, that's totally cool. But if you'd like me to play this every once in a while, I'm personally all about it. I think it'd be kind of fun. So thanks for watching, guys. I sure do appreciate it. There may be more of this to come later on, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz, but you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thank you again, and as always, I hope you guys have a good one.